So I'm rebuilding this uh, Blackhawk model number B67554 two-stage transmission jack. And when I got it assembled and was going to bleed it, which was another problem, I noticed it was leaking where the reservoir, it's upside down, meets the base. All it seals it is an O-ring that goes in that groove right there. And the canister floats around a little bit. So I was trying to get it centered and I couldn't think of a good way to center it. And then it dawned on me if I take some really skinny O-rings and uh, put them around the tube, it'll center the tube. It also gives it more layers the fluid would have to leak through in order to you know, seat past the seal. So I think it's a shitty design, quite honestly, because if you look at it, it's got a slight taper to it. That's also a little corroded. It does hit the, uh, the big O-ring at the base, this one right here, once you get it centered perfectly. But that's the only seal. I mean, how do you seal a, a steel tube with a round O-ring? I would at least put a, uh, a square O-ring in there so it has a flat surface. It's, a, I think, a terrible design. But am I a hydraulics engineer? No. I'm just a guy who got this jack for nothing, and I rebuilt it, and it's leaking. So I'm trying to find a way to stop it. So. This is my contribution to the Hydraulic Jack Society. If this stops the leak, I'll be a genius. If it doesn't stop the leak, I probably won't even publish this video, so no one will ever see this. So, let's see how I do. Well, as an epilogue, my jack is all fixed, but there is a, a trick I can show you. Uh, this plunger right here, this is what pumps it up. Yeah, you push it down and that makes the ram go up. I was having a hell of a time bleeding this thing. And then it dawned on me, this is the hydraulic plunger that you know, pressurizes the system. So that's gotta be filled with fluid. And sure enough, it was low in fluid. So I filled it up and now it works. So if you ever rebuild one of these things, it's a pretty easy job. Um, my O-ring seals down here did work. It doesn't leak at all anymore. So that's a great trick. Uh, but that plunger will confound you as it confounded me. So fill that, you know, if I can unscrew this thing, this is the whole pump assembly. Just sits like that long. Uh, just fill this whole column up with fluid to the, there's a stop right here for the O-ring. Fill up to about there and you should be golden. I gotta screw the sleeve back on too, I forgot to, whoops. That's it, good luck.